and then they were two, Chelsea and Leicester City, Chelsea women and Barcelona Femini. Talk about the finals of the FA Cup and of course the finals of the Women's Champions League. Welcome, this is the arena. Yes, here we get to talk about the big, big stories that are emanating from the world of sports. We'll definitely be talking about those big games that will be going down over this weekend. Yes, lots and lots of um, sporting excitement that comes with this particular weekend. We would also um, be taking a look at the Nigeria Professional Football League that is gently returning back to action. Aimba also are in the news. We would not be leaving them out. And how about the Basketball Africa League? We would also be taking a look at that. All of this right here on today's show. Don't go anywhere because when we get back from this break, the show starts in full. I'll be your host. My name is Jidechi Chijezie. looks command respect they say the perfect body the perfect grooming and ultimately the perfect skin looks style and grooming makes the ultimate man found a ridiculously easy way to make my skin always feel epic. My name is Neo, I found Blemiviv and now my skin finally makes sense. Welcome back. This is the arena. Yes, let's talk about those big, big stories from the world of sports. And I can tell you, it's not just me that will be doing this with you today. Uh, there's another man joining this party in the person of Akim Olaren Waju. Akim, a pleasure having you join us today. Okay, let's talk about Ayimba International of Aba and their CAF Confederation Cup game that is expected to go down. Um, this weekend, we saw how they were able to get out of the group stages of that one, and now um, the serious stages of the competition is officially beginning. The quarterfinal stage, Aimba. Well, now um, Aimba Baba is the one, is one of the let me call it one of the biggest if clubs the in Nigeria, biggest, the biggest, if not the biggest club in Nigeria, and also also in, even in Africa, they are one of the biggest club in Africa also, and. Uh, much is actually expected from Ayimba of Baba against their counterpart from the uh, Pyramid of uh, Egypt during their uh, uh, CAF uh, Confederation Cup. I so much believe they are actually preparing now and uh, they, they've been there before and uh, the experience will actually count for them in terms of preparation. Though the, their opponents, the Pyramid of Egypt, they are a very formidable team as well. But uh, I believe so much the Nigerian spirit is actually inside these uh, Ayimba football players and uh, their coaches and I know Fatai Osho, their coach, ha uh, actually has uh, something in, in plan also to, to shock the whole entire Africa continent. So I so much believe that uh, there will be a lot of, of uh, surprise by the time the, the game begins on Sunday. Mm. Um, um, there's something that actually caught our fancy this weekend, this week, uh, that the former player of Ayimba, Abu Aziz, who currently plays for Orioles and Abu was telling, was advising Aimba, you know, he has played for Aimba, he has seen this type of things before. And he was like, take your water, take um, your food, take everything so you can be tactically fit and ready uh, for this game because definitely there will be drama, there will be tactics, um, there will be lots and lots of um, under, um, underhand tactics that the Egyptians will bring to the party. Um, do we think Aimba is mentally fit 
enough to overcome and possibly get a three um, three points right there. Not three points. The much important win. It's no longer the green <laughs> stages. <laughs> they aggregate. Uh, yeah. Now, do you think they they can actually overcome those tactics and get that much important victory? Mm, yes. I like I said earlier that uh, experience can't in a game like this. Mm. Ember football team has actually we've been in the quarterfinal. They've won the Champions League before. They've, they've been in this uh, confederation cup at one point or the other. So all these, their experience, what they have encountered actually will count for them at this particular time. And likewise also, some of their, they have some major uh, experienced players in their team, Fondo, um, Nobu, their, their present goalkeeper. Yeah. He has been in the team for quite some time now. So I so much believe that uh, the experience will count. And also, if you look at the the history of a Nigerian team being in the Confederation Cup, look at the shooting star football club, their experience, the, the, what they have encountered in playing some of these uh, the North, North African teams, it has really shown that the Egyptian teams, they throw a whole lot of everything. Uh, everything to them. So for a Nigerian team going to that extent, to actually probably maybe thinking they want to take an uh, away goal or any other point advantage from them. Definitely they have to prepare mentally, they have to prepare even right from the time when they are in the airport, they will have to prepare mentally because a whole lot of mess, they may actually face a whole lot of mess when going to that particular, uh, to, to the North, to the North uh, Africans. Africa. The North Africans, they don't take anything easy when they hear Nigeria, when they hear anything that a Nigerian team is coming over. They, through everything at us. So, so it's definitely it's have it's to it's it's your A game. Uh, I'm talking about Ayimba. They will not be in action for the Nigeria Professional Football League this weekend. Games are actually going down um, this weekend. Before we talk about the games, let yeah. me quickly run you through the games that are going down in the Nigeria Professional Football League this weekend. The match day 21 um, fixtures of the league. Yes. Um, start go all games on Sunday and we would be having um, Worry Wolves and MFM. That would be one of the first games of the weekend. And then Rangers International and Rivers United. Uh, you have the one between Lobby Stars and SC for you, but who we are involved in some little drama the last time they were not um, able to show faces for their game against MFM, the one that went down in Enugu. They were unable um, to go for that one. And yet again, this weekend, it would be another away game that this time around against Lobby Stars of Markordi. Um, you have the one between Sunshine Stars of Akure and Jigawa Golden Stars. And then there's um, Kano Pilas and Adamawa United. And we hear um, that the Super Eagles captain, Captain Ahmed Musa, would most likely be making um, his return appearance for the Kano Pilas side where they welcome Adamawa United. The other games of the weekend are the ones between Wiki Tories and Nassau United. Heartland FC of Owere, who were able to get an away win the last time against Katina United. And then the Uyo Derby between Dakada FC and Aqua United. Then Quara United and um, Plateau United, the former league champions. And mm. what's interesting me at this point is the fact that um, the, the, the fight for the top spots at uh, the table is, is, is quite dramatic right now. Aqua United dethroned Quara United, who are formerly um, table toppers, and Cardinal um, Pillars are now second. Uh, how do you see games this weekend panning out? How, which one would you say actually stands out for you? Mm, I think I will go for the game against uh, Cardinal Pillars. Mm. Because um, the present uh, captain of the Super Eagles, that's the person Ahmed of Musa. Ahmed Musa, who actually pull crowd to, you know, I, I still know that there are, there are spectators, that uh, supporters that will still find their way to the stadium. And with that, it will boost the morals of the of the the team, and uh, it don't, that 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 is going to result into a very good result, and they will have to take a very good point from that particular match. So I so much believe. And looking at the Worry Wolf match against the uh, MFM, right? Yeah. I so much believe. Yeah, um, the MFM team have not actually been performing so, so perform, spectacular yeah. this season, but uh, I think I think I will give it to MFM. MFM yeah, and away victory. Uh, okay. Victory. Okay, now let's take a breather um, from the Nigeria Professional Football League and talk about some other thing that involves Nigeria and the continent. Um, that's basketball and the Basketball Africa League. Yes, it's set to officially kick off um, this Sunday. It's going to be the very first one right here on the shores of Africa. We'll be seeing a big, big teams all across Africa um, to take part in one location, um, different lots and lots of games, and one champion is expected um, to emerge, and none other than the Rivers who pass. 
they are the team representing Nigeria um, right there at the Basketball Africa League. It kicks off the Sunday. Rivers Hoopers, interestingly, the opening game of the competition would see Rivers Hoopers and the Patriots um, take on themselves on the courts of the Kigali Arena. Yes, that's where that one will be going now, the Kigali Arena right there in Rwanda. Um, now, Akim, let's quickly talk about um, Rivers Hoopers and the preparation so far. Um, they've been preparing for a long time coming, and this is one of the best teams once it comes to basketball in Nigeria. And they are getting to represent Nigeria right there at the Continental Competition. How do you actually see this one panning out for this Nigerian side? Well, looking at their, their, their history, you know, uh, Rivers uh, Hoopers, a very good team anyway. And uh, I think recently they acquired two former NBA players mm, yeah. in, order to, in order to actually boost the, the performance of the team. Even though look, if you look at their, from their inception in 2009, in which they, the, the team was actually, they, when they actually started, 2011, they win the league, 2012, they win the league as well. And likewise also at 2019, what actually make them to qualify for this particular tournament is that it's because they were actually winners. Though the tournament, the, the BA, BAL tournament, is going to be a very competitive tournament, looking at the pedigree of the teams that will yeah, actually be uh, coming from it. You know, all of them, they are winners in their various zones. So though I believe so much they are going to perform a, they are going to give but, up but a, you a very good fight. It sound like they but would win <laughs> it. That, that's but it's going to, but, but sincerely I believe it's going to be a wonderful experience from uh, uh, to, to the entire team. The entire team. Uh, talk about experience and talk about a wonderful experience that has been expected of Rivers who passed. Um, they met with the president of the Basketball Africa League. Yes, the former NBA legend. Um, he was able to speak um, to the Nigerian side. Why during one of their training sections and he gave them some encouraging words. Let's watch this one quickly and hear what he said. And then we come back, we wrap up this discussion. Things that we want for our continent. The environment is extremely important and each of us have an opportunity to play a role. So thank you again. And just look, wanted to say hello and also just continue to exhort you to follow the protocol. We just got out of quarantine. I'm sure there's a natural tendency maybe to relax, but let's not, right? We want to do this you know, successfully, there's no issues here, to just show the world that it is possible to do things right and do them big on the continent. Yes, and thank you again, looking forward to watching you play, compete, and uh, help us build this league for the future. Yeah, strong words from the man right there. Um, Rivers Hoopers, like I said, would be kicking off their competition on Sunday when they take on the Patriots. And of course, later on, they will take on U.S. Uh, Monasta. Um, that's their second game. And then it would end off with GNBC. That one is their final game. GNBC of Madagascar would be the final game of Rivers Hoopers on May um, the 23rd. Hopefully, they can get all the wins from this one and progress um, to the next stage of the competition. How about we go on a quick break, and when we get back from it, we'll continue with the rest of the show. looks command respect they say the perfect body the perfect grooming and ultimately the perfect skin looks style and grooming makes the ultimate man found a ridiculously easy way to make my skin always feel epic. My name is Neo, I found Blemiviv and now my skin finally makes sense.
this is the arena welcome back yes we've been talking about our stories emanating from the world of sports now let's talk about um the one that just came up like yesterday basically yesterday about the uefa champions league it's the location um for the finals the venue for the finals is now known originally we thought it would it could have been moving um from wembley from istanbul to wembley in london but now we hear um the finals of the champions league is going to estadio do drogo right there in portugal still in the studio with me is um akim or and wadro and akim the finals of the champions league now known and next stop is the finals itself hmm. <coughs> what um i would not want to speak like an oracle here now <laughs> i mean you're because, to speak uh, like an oracle. <laughs> because this champions league here uh, with the main champions league for uh, the match against uh, man city and chelsea, uh, chelsea. Sincerely, I think it's high time Pep Guardiola need to uh, win a major trophy like Champions League with Man City. Mm. So I think I'll give it to Man City this time around. <laughs> Man City this time around. <laughs> we don't see green the other way around. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on. That's the interesting thing about the Champions League um, this season. Chelsea just don't have a single chance. They have two chances um, to do so well this season. Um, interestingly, they are also in the finals of the Women's Champions League, the one that will be going on between Barcelona and um, Chelsea. And the interesting thing for us as Nigerians is that we have uh, a Nigerian factor That's in that right. final, Asisa Toshuala for Barcelona. Mm, like you have rightly said, I will go for uh, Barcelona. Mm, this time I give it to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will give so, it to my so Nigerian so counterpart. Part. I, 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 but looking, I'm but not looking for trouble at this point. You're no, giving the no. finals <laughs> with uh, Manchester City. You're giving the remains final. You don't want Chelsea fans to get you anything. know. You know, let, sincerely speaking, I I was actually looking at uh, watching um, the interview uh, for the uh, the coach of uh, Chelsea, uh, the, uh, the the coach of Chelsea that yeah. was a few days ago, and I could realize that uh, he was actually building on another man's uh, foundation. That's uh, Lampard. So much, I believe, you should relax for now and. Allow the man that has been pursuing it for a long time. Okay, so but <laughs> how, how, how about the women's own? We see the women's two, team. We see two coaches that have been doing so well uh, yeah. with their clubs. They are also league yeah. champions, they are individual yes, leagues. Yes. Um, the Spanish uh, Barcelona Femini recently won um, the league with so much goals, yeah. uh, so no game loss, and we yes. also see Chelsea the wonderful also. job that Chelsea coach has been doing. How do you see this one panning out, especially um, the fact that we have a Cesar Toshuala who has been imperious? Um, for Barcelona for me. No, without missing words, sincerely, I so much believe the both both teams for them to have actually reached the finals. They've actually been do, they've done, done so, so well, so well and mm. to, uh, so much of hard work and training also has actually gone to uh, to this. And uh, looking at the attention that the UEFA Women uh, League is actually receiving now compared to what, what we used before, to have before, I believe the match is going to be very competitive and. Uh, Maybe this is another time, maybe the team will actually go on extra time and, you know, because if you look at their semi-final game, you will look at it that both teams, they, they won out, they won one away, uh, one home, and yeah. they, they lost away, they won at home. And likewise also for, for the Barcelona against the, against the uh, Man City. If you look at them, the t the both teams are balanced. So I so much believe the match is going to be very tough and, uh, uh, like I said, like I rightly said, I've not changed my words. Barcelona will win this one. Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's move on from that one and talk about the FA Cup final. Also, another final that will be involving a Chelsea side. Yes, Leicester City versus Chelsea. It's going on this weekend, and uh, we will, we would be seeing Nigeria Skelechi Hanacho, who has been doing so well um, for Leicester City. And of course, Wilfred and Didi um, take part in that one against the Chelsea side, being led by Thomas Tuchel. Um, Akim, uh, you've given to finals to the opposition <laughs> of Chelsea. <laughs> Have you actually this one? Are you giving this one to Leicester City this time ah. around? Or? Well, my prediction, I gave it to Chelsea. Oh, okay, finally, Chelsea. finally. Because, <laughs> sincerely, the coach have actually done well mm. since the time he took over. I think he hasn't lost much up to two. I think he lost against my... Um, he lost the last match, yes. which is 1-0. And the one uh, against uh, West, uh, West, West Brunson. Which and and all the Champions League games he has actually done excellently well. Though I think I will give it to them. I will give it to Chelsea. Mm. I will give it to Chelsea. To Chelsea. So Leicester okay. City is painful in our to be <laughs> in that particular oh, no. team at this moment. 
but uh, they've actually done well as well. So I will only give them the top four. So this institution will hold on to their top. We'll have to hold on to the top four. Well, you've actually <laughs> taken the question I was going to ask you away from uh, my mouth. Uh, let's move on and talk about some other things. But before we do this, uh, there's this interesting one that went down uh, right there, the training section of Inter Milan. Yes, um, if you remember the game between Inter Milan and AS Roma, um, Lautaro Martinez was taken off by Antonio Conte and Martinez and um, reacted so angrily that game and that something that led to quite the interesting one that went down at the training section yesterday, yes. Um, let's watch this quick one, a boxing section between Lautaro Martinez and the coach of Inter Milan, Antonio Conte. Morning, 's quite the interesting one and quite interesting I wish every coach can do things like this it's part of team bonding um, you get to players to understand that it was just professional and nothing else well let's move on from that and talk about um, games that will be going down this weekend yes but before we talk about the games that will be going down this weekend um, something went down yesterday right there in Germany it was Borussia Dortmund emerging as champions of the um, German Pokal Cup yes uh, the German Cup well actually called the Deutsche Pokal uh, they are fine they are the winner <laughs> The likes of, of Elin Haaland, um, Jordan Sancho, are finally, they can finally say we are winners of something. Sincerely, give a round of applause for these guys. Mm. They, they really, they really, they've done a whole lot. They've done a whole lot. I watched the highlight of that match and I realized that um, the, there is consistency in the team. There is, they have a kind of means of communicating. In, in the team that is not like um, the way my brother in uh, PSG normally played, uh, bro Neymar. Mm, same bro Neymar. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> the way they are, you no know, pass the ball. You know the match was really, really is an excellent game. I gave it to him, Alan and then Sancho, and let me call it there. But bo do, do, those two players, I single them out because they were highly exceptional. They are exceptional players that and they can turn things around in anything. Mm. And I really congratulate them. I wish to see them uh, this coming season. <coughs> I wish to see them this coming season to actually do a wonderful job in the Champions League. And uh, I so much believe that uh, things will begin to happen in that particular team. Mm. Things will begin to happen. Um, let's talk about the one that things are already and currently happening. Talk about La Liga. Yes, things I would say are <laughs> happening. Um, 36 games played and we still don't have a winner of the La Liga this season. It's going to go down the wire. Atletico Madrid still top of that one. Real Madrid and closely pulling um, Real Madrid is Barcelona. How do you actually see this one panning out? Games will be going on this weekend, so it means the likelihood of that thing will change once uh, again. I must comment that uh, at this time, if I happen to be a judge, I will call all the coach. Please give it to Atletico Madrid this time around. But football is not actually. They, they will have to fight they, they for it. They have to fight for it. I think they have like a two or three. Matches. They all have two they, they games have two to go. Games yeah, to, to go. And uh, I think Real Madrid they won their last match, and it, it was a heavy defeat to their opponent. So um, looking, I think um, Atletico will, they are going to play against Osasuna and uh, one other team like that. So uh, which means that they are not actually playing against a very tough tough team again even though we can't just commonize anything in la liga but uh, this time around i believe with they are they are two two points ahead of uh, real madrid and uh, other teams 
So I think I, I will give it to Atletico. Atletico, you feel they'll win all their games. I mean, okay. You just have to take it one game after the other. And, and then you are the finish line. And it will be quite interesting to see them uh, win it because yeah. they've not done them so for a long time. Yeah. And let me move on and talk about the English Premier League. Uh, before we talk about the fixtures that are going down this weekend, uh, just some ask before we got into the studio. Um, the player of the month for the month of April got announced, and it's not Nigeria. Skelichi and Charles would have always wanted. Mm -hmm. um, this time around, he's going to Jesse Lingard. Quite an interesting uh, month he has had with West Ham. Well, he is present with uh, uh, West, West Ham. Ham has actually been so unique. He has been, let me call it, the, the pivot of success within the West Ham uh, United. And uh, I, I'm not really surprised, even though as a Nigerian, I would have loved um, Skelechi Inacho be picked for that uh, particular um, uh, title. But... All in all, I believe they have actually picked the right players. So I believe so much that uh, with time, uh, Kilichi and I, you know, just still have a whole lot of, of time ahead to actually achieve success, even before the end of the season. Mm. And uh, I so much believe that if they can actually work harder more to, to actually win the remaining matches, their top four race can, can still be cemented, even though Liverpool is actually... That's West Ham you're talking about now, or yeah. Leicester City? Yeah, I'm also, okay, I'm talking about Leicester City as well. Then. Okay, uh, but, but let's take a look at West Ham, and particularly what Lingard has been able to do with them. Um, do you actually feel they would be looking at, they would be finishing as one of the top four teams, considering they are mm. one of the highly ranked teams right uh, now? They are, yeah, they are, I think they are in the seventh position, sixth position now. Mm. And, uh, Looking at uh, Liverpool resurgence now, I so much believe that uh, it will take a very good luck. Let me use the word good luck for West Ham. West I think Ham. to actually be able to meet that. They can't meet sure. top four, but they can actually maybe sneak into Europa. Mm, it says sneak in. <laughs> uh, quickly, let's take a look at that <laughs> table. You can see the top six on your screen right now. Um, I keep saying teams that will be sneaking in. Liverpool are gently, gently sneaking back into the top six and looking for how they could get possibly a uh, Champions League slot um, before the season runs out. Uh, well, you can see on your screen, Manchester City already concluded um, the, the decided champions. Manchester United already a secured spot for the Champions League next season. But how about Leicester City, who are currently third right now? And then you have Chelsea currently on fourth, um, Les um, Liverpool fifth, and West Ham United sixth. I will say this. Is a fight to the finish for the Champions League places uh, this season in the English Premier League. But all that have a way of changing this weekend by the time the teams will take on themselves um, this weekend. In this weekend's fixture, let's quickly um, take a look at how it's going to be panning out this weekend. Yes, um, games will be starting off on Friday. And uh, when it starts off on Friday, you have um, the likes. You have the likes of Newcastle United and Manchester City um, taking, slugging it down right there at Newcastle's home ground. And then later on Saturday, you have Burnley and Leeds United. And of course, on Saturday, you also have the games between Southampton and Fulham and Brighton and Hove Albion and West Ham United. West Ham will be finding their chances um, to get the much needed three points in that one. On Sunday, we have Crystal Palace and Aston Villa, um, Tottenham Hotspur, and Wolverhampton Wanderers, um, West Brom United and Liverpool, and of course Everton and Sheffield United. Manchester United were in action last night as they um, fell to Liverpool. That one ended um, four goals uh, to two. That's how the games this weekend uh, would be looking. Before we wrap up the show, Akeem, um, interesting fixtures from this weekend. Uh, which game would you see actually stands out for you, and which game would you most likely be seeing? I think I'll be watching the Liverpool match. Mm. So I, 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 their last match really make me to say, mm, this team, they are back. They are back. <laughs> so I, I actually <laughs> think so, so too, because they are beginning to score once again. I know they don't have any other alternative other than to meet that top four. So they have to win their remaining matches. And also looking at uh, Leicester City, they are, they ma okay, I think they, are, they will be playing the uh, FA Cup. FA Cup, this year. Their remaining two matches is like a final. They are having match against Chelsea as well. In the in the league and likewise again Tottenham. Even though Tottenham now their season is already over, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I I believe the, that uh, Liverpool the Liverpool match. game for you. Mm. Yeah. Big games, big big games. Um, you would say about the ones that are going on 
in the English Premier League. But it's not just the English Premier League. We've also talked about um, La Liga, where interesting games are also, go are also going down um, this weekend. Yes, all across Europe, the big, big leagues, we see drama, um, health, uh, skelter. But why not just sit back and enjoy? It's our business uh, to sit back and enjoy and see how this one will pan out. It's been a fabulous time on the show. And with Hakim, I would say it's been a fabulous time, Hakim. Thank you, thank you. Yes, how about we wrap it up here? Um, call it a wrap. Till next time we come your way, ensure you stay safe. My name is Jidechi Chidezie. Bye for now. <laughs>